Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Real quick, before I get into this video, I want to tell you about PopCultureZone.com. They are a website specializing in comic books, some of the hottest variants, and CGC comics. You can get raw comics. They specialize in lots of 10. And for those raw comics, if you are shipping to the domestic United States, you only pay $4.99 flat rate shipping. PopCultureZone.com. Now on to the video. One thing I've noticed is through the success from Kanto, from seeing you guys come on our channel, all these other YouTube channels, websites, articles, Twitter, Instagram, I've seen a lot of heavy lifting on your part. I see IDW every now and then share like their convention exclusives, but just from my perspective, and Lala, I'd love to give you, get your opinion on this as well. I don't see as much love coming from IDW Publisher that I figured you would from something that's such a great story and has received such critical and fan acclaim. Is is that just IDW's MO? Is that kind of how they are with all of it? I mean, I see Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle stuff get shared, but I'm not seeing creator owned or more independent, which is the swim lane as a comic book fan that I like to fall into more than big two licensed property. But I've seen you guys do a lot of heavy lifting. I'd like to see IDW kind of promote that title more. I think it can get a wider fan base. I also know IDW has gone through some different leadership changes. So there's in-house stuff being taken care of. But IDW, what's going on, man? Promote your your flagship indie series. Lala, what do you think? I completely agree. I mean, I realize I post a lot. I get that. I post probably way more than the average fan um but i feel like idw has like so much more to post they have so much more opportunity to post and like share things and i feel like they just miss the mark sometimes and like we should all be promoting it a hundred percent and i just don't feel the love as much yeah, I think there's a lot of missed marketing opportunity there from a series that's yeah. so great from from a publisher, whether they're sharing, hey, this this arc ended, what you know, what's coming up with the new arc. Hey, like we said, reprint the first issue, go to do a free comic book day. There's a lot of stuff out there from an indie publisher, especially when they're trying not to be just an indie publisher. They at one time they were talking entertainment, not just comics. That's such a great IP, great property to build that fan base around instead of just always trying to shell out money for licensed property when you have something in-house that you can grow and nourish that's so well received sure and it's you know yep. it's it's great any promotion is you know great promotion and ultimately for creator owned comics it really comes down to um you have to be willing to hit to, to pound the pavement yep. um you have to be your own biggest fan and you know, as much support as you can possibly get from your publisher. That's, I, you know, that's, you don't really have a lot of control over that. And we definitely hear what, what you're saying. Um, ultimately, we are, Drew and I are so committed to having this be successful that, um, you know, Laura, you're sharing, um, you know, and your uh, social media presence, particularly about Canto has been so helpful to us. Um, yeah, so so we just uh, you know we have to pound the pavement, and ultimately uh, you know the cards will fall wherever they fall yeah. for us. Um, I mean, yeah. uh, I'll, I'll I'll say this, you know, me and David kind of from day one always were well aware of what of what the pecking order was, and that we would ultimately be our big our own biggest advocates for the book. Um, IDW has numerous books that they have to promote uh including licensed stuff that obviously comes with a slightly higher monetary value than say we do you know they, they're a company they have to they have to put things in order um that being said you know i i truly believe that the future of this industry is in the indie titles and that something like canto will live on long beyond you know whatever book of the week is pushed out by whatever publisher in a long line of books that are picked up and thrown into a 25 cent bin. Um, and to that end, you know, David and I will keep pounding the pavement and the more support we can get from the community, the better. Uh, but that it ultimately, those wheels kind of turn on the community and us. And, you know, if, if the day comes that hopefully we we reached 
that level that a company looks at the book and says there's value in us putting that effort, that time into it, you know, hopefully they'll do it. Now's a great time to plug your stickers. Yes. Yeah, stickers coming, right? Stickers. I just, yeah, stickers. I just ordered some too. Put it closer to the uh, camera. I have not seen them yet. Fancy. Oh, that's one and two. See, oh. that's just the start. We got Funkos. We're going to have fig pens. We're going to have coloring books, but action figures. So yeah. The the plan is is that there are three or three more stickers on the way. They are going to be part of uh, sticker packs uh, coming up. We're I'm still working out the logistics of everything, but I would expect to see those probably by uh, end of the month at the latest. Right. I, I want to just step back one second, and listen to your response about IDW and promoting other books and stuff. I get that. But licensed property is just that. What happens when that license runs out or someone else picks up that license? The majority of their portfolio is licensed property between Ninja Turtles, Transformers, Sonic. I mean, it goes on. There's a couple indie properties, but unless I'm missing something, Kanto has probably been one of the biggest ones that they've had some success with like V-Wars, some other ones. But Kanto for IDW, I, I feel like, just my personal opinion, it's like, yeah, it's doing great for them, but you know, Ninja Turtles and Joe and Transformers is the best one. I feel like, I wanna say taken for granted, that's kind of a little bit strong, but I feel like there's just not as much attention from IDW's point of view being put towards it. And, and I, I, kudos to you guys for championing this. And